Where is Jordan? Here I am! Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Tribe TV. It's so good to be with you guys again today. We've got another amazing, amazing episode. But before we kick off with our episode today, I want you to have a look at this picture and see if you can spot someone that you may know. You may have seen him in a Tribe TV episode before, so keep your eyes peeled and see if you can see him. Okay, so did you get it? Did you see who it was? It was Josiah, you found him well then. He's gonna be coming on right now and doing another magic trick for you guys. So Josiah, over to you. Hi guys, I'm Josiah today. I learned a magic trick and I'm gonna show it to you. So Jordan, please can you pick a number between 10 and 20? 14. Okay, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now, if I like made you say this number, that would be hard, but I'm gonna add one plus four together. One, two, three, four, which equals five, one plus four. And the fifth card's gonna be your card. You got it? Yeah. Put your card down. Okay, now for the first time, what was your card? Do I have to tell you? Yes. Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades. There's something familiar with that card because watch this. A, C, D, e, S, P, A, D, E, S. And the top card actually is your card. That's just mum, just random normal cards. Well, is that some ace? All three of these should be aces. And that's the ace of spades. The two of spades, three of spades, four of spades, five of spades, six of spades, and the seven of spades. Wow, -y. Good job, buddy. And all of the cards are completely different in the deck. <laughs> Joe, that was amazing. Well done. You fought on tricked me in that trick, so good job buddy. And um, Josiah is not the only one that can send things in for, for us to share on Tribe TV. If you would like to do something at home and you want to send it in, please, 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 please do, because we would love to feature you in one of our episodes. So anyway, we're going to kick off with the show today. And before we do anything else, I'm going to tell you about something exciting, something new and exciting. See, the girls have been working hard every week, making lots of songs and lots of dances for you guys to get involved with. And this week, they've got a brand new song, and it's going to be so good, and it's going to be so exciting. And it talks all about God being so good. And that's the theme for this week, guys. We're going to be looking at how good God is. So, girls, take it away. The king of my heart Be the mountain where I run The fountain I drink from Always my song And let the king of my heart Be the shadow where I hide The ransom for my life Always my song It's you are The king of my heart Be the wind 
alright. You're never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let. You're never gonna let me down. No, Lord. You're never gonna let. You're never gonna let me down. Hi guys, how you all doing? Um, hope you're keeping well. The game we've got for you today is called Chubby Bunnies. So the game is see how many marshmallows you can get in your mouth and see if you can beat us guys. We're all gonna have a go. Three, two, one, go! One. Chubby Bunnies. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Three. Five chubby bunnies for Joe. Oh, my go, I guess. I'm not sure this game. One chubby bunny. Two chubby bunny. Three chubby bunny. You have rabbit teeth. Four oh, chubby bunny. Five oh, chubby bunny. Right guys, I've got six chubby bunnies just about. See what you can do at home and let us know. Hey guys, welcome back. Now before we begin, I want to give a massive shout out to Katie who did last week's recipe. Katie, your chocolate cookies looked absolutely incredible. You did an amazing job. Now back to today. Who has a friend or a, a family member that they're missing at this time and that they'd love to be with them to see them? Or maybe you know somebody in your street who lives alone and can't get out at this time. Well, why not send them a smiley face card to let them know that you're thinking about them and how much you're missing them. Now, for your smiley face card, here's what you'll need. face card you will need a piece of A4 card which I've taken and folded in half. I then 
because I'm making a round, yellow, bright, smiley face, I've taken a piece of yellow card and I have some googly eyes and a pink tongue. But you can do any design you like, anything at all. You could do flowers, animals, I've made a Judah the lion, anything, whatever you like to do. So first of all, I need to make my face. I've got my googly eyes and I'm using glue dots for this just for quickness. So I take it, the glue dot, place it on the back of the googly eye and on my smiley face. And now my smiley face needs a really big smiley mouth. Just like so, my smiley face is starting to take shape. Now because I want this to be a cheeky smiley mouth, smiley face, I take another glue dot and I'm going to stick my pink tongue to my smiley face. Where shall I put it? There. And there you have it, a smiley face. And now you can use any embellishments if you've got stickers, sequins, whatever you've got. You could use glitter, whatever you want to make your smiley face as cheerful and as shiny as possible. And then I take my smiley face and I'm sticking him on the card like so. And there you have it, your smiley face card. And there you have it, your very own smiley face card. Why not give it a go and let someone know how special they are to you. And you could also tell them that you're praying for them. So, until next time, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Judah and the Angry Bird One day, Judah met Red to play football. But there was an intruder on the pitch. <laughs> the intruder took the ball to his castle. <laughs> this made the angry bird angry. <laughs> But Judah had an idea. They would take down the castle.
time for football again. Okay, hey guys, welcome back to Challenges with VA. I've currently got two dogs staring at me for a ball, but let's see how me and Jordan got on with the Maltese Straw Challenge. As you can see, I got eight, and Jordan, how many did you get? I got three, which is um, not very good. I really struggled. I was so bad this week. But fair play, Beth had me. <laughs> Beth had having me, so fair play. Fair dues, fair dues. <laughs> However, so Beth had, I don't know, because I did feel like we got equal comments last week. Did we get equal comments? No, 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 no. I counted those comments and I won 100, 100% won. I got like eight or nine and I think you got three. So yet again, I win. So that's like four, four, one. Four, 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 one. Joking. We have done this four weeks now. Four, one. Man, okay, guys, I need I need some support. I need you to help me out for next week, okay? I need to win some challenges. I need Four, one. Maybe comment a challenge because I'm running out of ideas now. Yeah, that's a good So one. if you want Jordan to win. If you want me to win, guys, stick it in the comments below. Do something that I'm preferably good at and Bethan's not good at. And we can win. See you next week. another memory verse for you to learn and this week's verse comes from Acts 16 verse 25. After Jesus gave all his disciples a mission to go into the nations and preach the gospel, there was a lot of confusion amongst the people. Whilst many people opened their hearts up to the truth of Jesus, a lot of people disagreed with what Paul was preaching. And it was because of this that the Roman officials arrested Paul and Silas and put them in prison. Now can you remember what chapter this took place? That's right, it was chapter 16 in the book of Acts. The Roman officials made life very hard for Paul and Silas, but they would not be defeated. Can you remember what they did all through the night? That's right guys, Paul and Silas spent the entire night praying and singing to God. Whilst Paul and Silas faced many trials that weren't their fault, they still trusted in God's goodness. So what we can learn from this memory verse is that God is always worthy of our praise. Whilst other people may question us, we can stand firm on the truth that we know, that God is God and He loves us. Even when we face trials like Paul and Silas, God is going to use them to grow us into his disciples. Well done everyone, I'm so proud of you for how you're having a go at learning these verses. Don't forget we will be testing you next week to see if you can remember. So have a good week and I will see you next time. And now it's story time with Kev. See you all again. I hope you're all well and I hope you're all safe. And it's time for another story. 
Now, the last few weeks, we've been thinking about what the disciples were doing after Jesus went back to heaven and how the church was growing and growing in number. And today we're going to go back to Saul, who was now called Paul. His name had been changed by God. So now it was time to find out all about Paul. Now, Paul had been going around to many, many towns, telling them all about how Jesus had changed his life around. And how he now believed in Jesus and the power of God's love and power is forgiveness. Now Paul would go around with lots of different people. And one day he was with a man called Silas. And they were going around telling people about Jesus. Uh, and they got into a bit of trouble, let's say. Um, and the people were very cross at what they were doing. And so they decided to throw them both in prison. So Paul and Silas were thrown into prison. Now, I, can't, I can imagine that the prisons probably would have been very nice. Not very nice at all. And in fact, they even chained Paul and Silas up. They had them put their feet in stocks. Now, they would have only have done that with the, the worst of the offenders, the worst prisoners, those that were seen as the most dangerous they would have been chained up. So Paul and Silas were chained up, which seems very strange to me. Um, I wonder why that was. Why they thought that they were so dangerous because of what they were saying? I don't know. But the interesting thing that Paul and Silas, while they were in prison, surrounded by all the other prisoners, they did something that maybe they would have been surprised to have done. They started to pray and they started to sing. To God. They didn't cry, they didn't get angry, they didn't mope about, and they didn't um, give up. Instead, what they chose to do was to pray and to sing worship songs to God. Now, as they did this, as they sang to God, something happened. There was an earthquake, like a little earthquake, but it was enough that the cell doors and the jail doors all opened up. And the chains fell off all of the prisoners. And so Paul and Silas' chains, they came off. The stocks broke and the doors opened up. And everyone ran out of the jail. Now the jailer was very, very scared. He was afraid for his own life. Because he was meant to keep watch of all these prisoners. And they were all out. But Paul told him not to worry. He said, we're all here, we're all here. And all the prisoners had gathered together and the jailer had seen and heard the earthquake and was amazed. And so he fell before Paul and Silas and he said, what must I do to be saved? And so Paul turned to him and said, you believe in Jesus, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Ask him to be your friend and your saviour and you will be saved. And the jailer was really moved. And so he did. He gave his life to Jesus and asked to be baptised and he was baptised. And the very next day, he was told by the courts that Paul and Silas were allowed to go. They were now free. And so Paul and Silas left and they carried on their journey. And that was another incredible, miraculous event that Paul went through in his life. And he was going to go through many, many other miraculous and amazing things as he went around telling people all about Jesus. We're going to keep listening to other stories about Paul over the next few weeks. And there are some incredible stories, some amazing things that happened to Paul in his life. But I can't wait to tell you all. So I hope to hopefully see you all again soon and you all take care. Bye. So what an awesome story that is that Kevin's just told us. See, Paul and Silas were singing at midnight, our memory verse said this, about midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. That's what Beth just told us about from Acts 16 verse 25. And as they were singing, something amazing happened. There was an earthquake and the walls of the prison fell down and their chains fell off. Not just their chains though, the whole prison, every prisoner's chain just fell off. How amazing is that? See, I love that story because it teaches us something. When we sing about God's goodness, even when things aren't great, amazing stuff always happens. Did you guys know that? 
See, in the current situation that we're in right now, it's not very good, is it? People are getting sick, people are off school, people are off work, it's not very nice at all. But, did you guys know that even in this season, we can sing about the goodness of God? And when we sing about the goodness of God, Jesus says this, that if we lift him up and say how good he is, he will draw people to him. He will tell people to come to him and the people will find him and they'll find joy, they'll find peace, they'll find hope. In the story of Peter and Silas in prison, as they sang, as they worshipped God, God brought back the jailer to him. God brought the jailer closer to him. And so I want to encourage you guys today. We just sung that song earlier with Megan Beth Ann. And it said, you are good, good, oh, oh. And I want to challenge you guys. At, try and sing that song today. Try and sing that song this week. Try and worship God even when you don't feel great. Even when things aren't going well around us. Keep worshipping God because he is good. And amazing, amazing, amazing things happen when we lift the name of Jesus up. So that's what I want to encourage you guys with today. We may not be able to see what happens. The walls of prisons may not fall down, but we can praise God and we can tell him how good he is, how great he is, because he always gets lifted up. He always gets lifted high and more people come to know about him. So we're going to pray really quickly. Is that okay? So dear Lord Jesus, thank you that even when things aren't going great, we can still praise you. We can still tell you how good you are. Because when we tell you how good you are, and it keeps us reminding that you are good, but it also results in things changing around us. Keep all of my friends safe that are watching today. In Jesus' name, amen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's show. It's been really, really good to have you guys again with us today. So remember, this episode is available on YouTube. That's right. So if you want to go and watch any of the stuff again, Go watch it. Go watch Beth Ann's challenge of her beating me again. Remember, comment below the challenges. Preferably something I'm good at. If you want to watch Sarah's craft again, get over to YouTube. If you want to watch Ted's story again, get over to YouTube. We can't wait to see you again next week, guys. So have a good week. Stay safe. We're praying for you. And we'll see you all soon. See you later, guys.